Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Intro to Programming and Database. In this class we will going to learn about variables and constants and assignment operators. So to get started we will going to learn how you can write the mathematical formulas in Visual Basic. Generally speaking if you run across a formula of an area of a circle that is pi r square. So you have a pi symbol r to the power of 2. But in VB, we can't really write it like that. In VB, we would rather write like area equals to, instead of pi, we can either use a constant pi, which is a name, built-in constant in VB. And then, instead of just writing r square, we have to use multiplication sign r times r. Or, there is an option in VB where you can use a to the power operator which is a hat-like symbol followed by 2, which stands for r squared. So the first thing that I got to do is I need to declare all my variables that I need for this example. So I need to declare my variable for calculating the radius. And I also need a variable to hold my area. Then I need to declare a constant that I am declaring so that we also learn how you can declare constants. I'm giving it a value of 3.1415. Now, I'm setting my radius to a value of 2. And in order to calculate the area, I'm going to simply say pi times r squared. Once I'm done with this, I'll display the output, which is by calling the system class calling console which refers to the systems console and write line which we're going to now write to the console area concatenated with the name of the variable so in this example we learn how you can declare variables how you can declare a constant how you can assign a value to a variable and how you can perform calculations on the right-hand side and assign a value on the left-hand side of the equals operator. And the calculations must always be done to the right of equals because this is how the programming works. To the right, you will always have a value. To the left, you will always have a placeholder holder for that value. And then in the last line, we're simply displaying the output to the screen. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Have a great day.